Hi, I'm Patricia, and welcome to my creative space. Today we are working on faux dichroic glass. I have some here that are made from polymer clay, and some here that are made from broken up glass pieces. We're going to do the backs a little bit differently this time because I don't like how the backs came out. Um, I got little, uh, I don't know what you want to call it on the back when I sanded them. But I don't like it. This one was a trial I did and the glue just didn't set up before I got everything put on. Uh, I tried several different ways to do this. And what I found worked best was using E6000 Extreme Tack. And I will have the link for that in the description box below. Here is one I did on a glass piece. And you can see it turns out really nice on the glass as well as the polymer clay. You can do this either way. But it's fun. You can make any shape you want out of polymer clay and uh, have it come out looking really nice. So, let's get started. First, I'm going to start off with a sheet of clay on a setting 3. And today, I'm just going to be using a square cutter. And I'm going to just take this and try to get all the air bubbles out. And then cut out my shape. Okay, and here I have me another piece rolled out on a setting three. Cut out my shape, and this is going to be going on top of this piece here, along with a veil. Slide that off there. And here's my veil, and I'm going to put this in the center of my square. making sure I got it centered and exactly where I want it to be. I'm going to lightly press it down. I'm going to take my other piece here and I'm going to cover the top. And I'll just gently press that down. You are going to see a slight bump in it. Don't worry about that. It's mostly going to get covered anyway. And you won't really see it in the finished product. Now I'm going to take and trim up these edges to make sure it's all even. Just turn a little bit off. You can see how crooked I am. But I'm just trying to level out the edges here from putting them together. Okay, and here you see I have another one. I'm doing this one differently. Uh, again, trimming the edge to where I want it, but I'm going to make this one a rectangle. So I'm going to trim a lot more off the sides than I did the other one, which will give me the rectangle shape I want. And now I am ready to pop these in the oven. I will bake them at 275 for a half hour because they will be going back in the oven. Hey, and here's a lot of the goodies I'm going to be using. 
all kinds of nail foils, papers, you name it, I'm putting it on it. And these are just all my glass bits. All right, these are now out of the oven, and now I'm going to do the just my snare on the top um, because that bell is showing through on the top. You don't want that to show through, so you want to cover that up as best you can. Uh, what I'm going to do here first is take my blade and I'm going to trim any excess off the top because there was excess because it's not even on top. So what I want to do is even that out as best I can before doing the smear on it so that it comes out nice and smooth. So that's all I'm doing here is just trimming that up with my knife here, well my blade, my knife. All right, now that I've got everything all smoothed out, I'm gonna take my clay here and warm it up. Just warming it up here. And then I will do the Jessamine smear along the top to cover that veil on the inside. And I will also put a link to the Jessamine smear in the description box below. I'm just going to take my tool here and kind of press it up against that top of the bale. Trying to make sure I have no gap or anything. Making sure that it's nice and smooth. Okay, and I'll do the same thing to the other side. Putting it on there, pulling it across. Nice firm, even pressure. And then I'll just smooth it out. Make sure it's up against that with my tool. And then I will do the same thing to the other one. And then I will pop them back in the oven for another half hour at 275. Okay, now they're out of the oven. Here I've got some extreme tack on there. And so this is not so boring. I am spinning the film up so that you're not sitting here watching glue dry pretty much. So I put on way too much. So I'm getting it off one, putting it on the other. Like I said, that's E6000 Extreme Tack. I will have that in the description box below. Let it dry. Put on some foils here. Just for fun, I'm doing all different kinds. Um, a lot of this is going to get covered up, but for what don't get covered up, this will shine through looking pretty cool. Okay, on my other one, I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm just laying this rainbow sheet on it and doing the whole thing. So it's a little bit different. There we go. Now they are ready. 
I need another layer of extreme tech. Brush that on there. And then I will let that dry. Getting off the excess here. Then I will let it dry. So now it's ready. I'm going to start layering on some other pieces here. And uh, right offhand, I can't remember where I got this, but I will have the link in the description box below of where I bought this stuff that I'm putting on now. Here we're going to add another layer. So I got my extreme tack. I'm going to spread it on there. And then we'll add our next layer. Okay, and here they are all done, and now we will resin them to give them that glassy look. I've got several different kinds of UV resin, and I'm just going to pick one here and use it up.
And now that that has it, now I'll put it under the UV light for about 20-25 minutes. And now I'm ready to take my glass one and glue on the veil. And I'm using Weld Bond here. Does a pretty good job. So I'll just place that on there and get it where I want it and let it dry. Okay, now I'm going to work on the back, so I'm going to texture the back. I got a uh, aquarium sponge here is what I'm using. So I'm just texturing it as well as I want it textured. I will set my pennant on there, and I will just cut it out. Make sure it's good and textured. Cut off that nib. And here I got some poly paste. I'm going to spread that on there. You can also use liquid polymer clay or Sculpey's Bacon Bond. Making sure it's still good and textured. I'm going to cut off the excess that's hanging over the edges. I'm not too worried about it because we're going to be sanding these also. So you can see I had some resin go over the edge. I'm not too worried about that because I'm going to be re uh, sanding it. So here I am sanding the pieces, doing the edges. Um, By the way, I had baked those at 275 for 45 minutes, and I did them on a setting 4, I do believe. Just sanding it, making it sure it's all nice and smooth. Anywhere I had uh, UV resin run over the edges, I'm making sure that I sand that because we are going to resin the edges and here I am rounding the corners because I want them rounded. I don't want them sharp. I want rounded edges so I'm just going to round these edges off. The corners, excuse me. And that's what I'll do to the other one as well. And now I'm going to do the edges in Tiny Pandora's Deep Shine. Use my little tool here to apply it to the edge. I'm going to take my UV light and hold it over it so I can dry it there. Do the other edge. And do the same thing. Once I have it all done with the flashlight, UV flashlight, I will put it back in the UV light. And I'll do that for about four minutes just to make sure that it's good and cured. Because I don't want it to be tacky at all. So I just want to make sure that I got it good and cured. Alright, now that they're all done, we can make the necklaces now. And what I have here is some uh, pre-done cord that I'm going to put them on today. Um, pretty much it's all done for you. You just got to close the clasp. There's what the backs look like. A lot better than the other ones, I think. So, I'm going to just pick my cords here.
just string it on there, put the chain through and pull it. And that's all there is to these. They're already done for you. And they're pretty darn cute. There we go. Very cute. Do the same with the next one. Just pull it through there. And voila. Close the end up. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to do these two also. And I'm going to put these on a cord. So I'll be putting the ends on these. I got some crimp ends, well, glue on ends. They don't crimp. So I guess you can't really call them crimp ends. But they do glue on, and I'm going to use Web Bond. Got me a toothpick here. Just squeeze a little bit of that out on the end of the toothpick and then apply it to the end of my cord. See, just a little bit. And I'll just rub that on the end of my cord. Making sure it's getting covered. Take the end and I'll like twist it on there. You notice I cut the end at an angle and it makes it easier to go in there. And wipe off the excess glue off onto my finger. And then I'll do the same thing to the other side here. Good application of the glue. Twist it on there. Sometimes they go easy, sometimes they go hard. These two obviously went pretty easy for me. There we go. That's got it. And now that they have dried, I will finish it off. I've got a four millimeter and six millimeter, I do believe here. Might be an eight millimeter and uh, jump ring. I honestly can't remember. Might be an eight though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's an 8. Then I have 4 millimeter. Twist it open. Put my claw clasp on there. Hook it in. And then close it up. Making sure it's good and closed. There we go.
and voila. There we go. All done. And I'll do that with my next one. And here's all the ones that I have made. There's the glass on the end here. Two of them. The glass ones that I did. And the rest are all polymer clay. So if this tutorial was helpful to you in any way, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Hope you have a great day. Remember to ring that bell.